So finally, I have a video on how to use QEMU and Looking Glass. To get started, let's go to the quick start guide and what, let's see what it says under building the client. First, we need to make sure we have the right packages installed on our system. I'm on Fedora 29 and I'll need these packages and I will uh, put them in the video description for everybody to see. Next, once we have the packages installed, we need to download the source. Okay. You can either download this one, the 812, right here. But for me, I was having issues when uh, after I compiled it and I ran it, I would get a segmentation fault. So what I ended up doing and what fixed that issue for me is uh, I just cloned their uh, Git repository. That's that. Now, either way, you should end up with a looking glass folder on your computer. So let's go there. CD looking glass. And what we have to do, we have to compile it now. So the steps are right here. Let's go back. Here are the steps. Okay. So we go mkdir client build okay cd client build then cmake dot dot slash and make okay now we are done with this part next we need to configure our qemu uh, initialization script. We need to add the intervirtual uh, machine shared memory device. Okay, let's copy that. Let's go to our script and paste it. And uh, it's 32 megabytes in size. So uh, it should support up to 1080 resolution. Again, if you run some much higher resolution, you might have to uh, change that and everything is right here on the site to tell you what to do Okay Next don't forget the slash after here and we need to do one more thing uh, It's recommended that you run this to create a shared file between the virtual machine and your host So I copy that go back to my uh, script paste it and Let's see where it says user, uh, you should use the user you are using. In this case, it would be root. It works for me. It works. So easy. Let's save that. So that's saved. Now, what's next? Configuring QEMU, configuring Windows. We'll need to install the driver under in our virtual machine. So uh, let's start with that. I will uh, change to my virtual machine directory. Oh, let's do that. Okay, I will uh, change my capture card from the host to the virtual machine now. In the virtual machine, we have to, as I said, download this, and I already did. I saved it, unzipped it. Now we need to run the device manager. System devices. And we need to find the PCI standard RAM controller and update the driver. Browse. We need to go to the folder we just downloaded and Windows 10, AMD64. Next, install that. Now that's ready. So next, running the host. Okay, we need to download the host, host application. Looking glass.exe, I downloaded it. I saved it under the C folder. 
I mean C drive and uh, so before you can actually run uh, looking glass you might want to consider running this uh, application on the machine startup and for that I would recommend using the scheduler so let's go there okay so let's create the new task create task we'll call it LG for looking glass run with highest privileges Windows 10 triggers will be on uh, log on at log on delay for I like to delay it for 10 seconds it helps I think I was having some issues if I uh, didn't do it actions run a run the looking glass application okay and that should be it okay what you also need to do you might want to download the latest uh, C++ Visual Redistributable. Okay. Downloads. I already downloaded it. I'll run it. Install it. Okay. Now let's see our scheduler. And let's run this. Okay, it should run in the background. Now I will switch to my uh, host machine. Let's see the next step. Next step is running the client. Here are some options when running it. This is uh, fairly interesting. You might want to take a look at that. And uh, disabling Spice client, the Spice client, and I usually use it with the option all, but it's up to you. Okay, let's go back and let, let's try running the client. So we will change directory to looking glass, client, build, and run the client. And with the options S and all. Here's our uh, application or our virtual machine with the scheduler running. We'll turn that off is running we can turn everything off you can see it's working when we try to restart it oh, we won't be able to see the restarting process while that's happening because the application is not running obviously when the virtual machine is restarting but after it comes up we should be able to see the output and uh, with the delay of uh, 10 seconds obviously because uh, that's what we specified in the a scheduler so it should be up very soon now let's see okay there we go it's running so that would be all for uh, our tutorial for looking glass and QEMU and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be talking about uh, Again, looking glass, but this time uh, vert manager and libvert. See you next time.